hell's bells, man, seriously. I don't understand why people have to always try to start drama. It makes no fucking sense to me whatsoever. I'm now seeing why some of my good creator friends who are starting to get kind of big and then they just all of a sudden are gone. I'm now starting to fucking see that. Because it's not the fact that they can't handle the, the, the pressure, the people watching them. They can't handle the people around them. Because the people around them don't fucking understand that, hey, you got a career and you need to fucking work on it. I can't spend every god dang minute hanging out with people. You, you know why you never see me hang out with much people? You do here and there, but you know why you guys never really see me hang out with much people? It's because I fucking don't. Because the people around here, like, like, I'm realizing that, like, I was at, like, two weekends ago, I was at the Hazard County thing. And I'm, like, talking to everybody, you know, everybody's cool with everybody. And I got to go to dinner with Tom Wolpat, Byron Cherry, and Wade Jennings, which was awesome. Then I go back to like a normal day and like no one wants to fucking say hi to me. No one is, everyone's fucking rude to me. I don't get it. And then you got other people trying to start freaking drama like we're 10 years old. Like I ain't got time for that. I got stuff to do. I'm trying to spend more time. I just got my new camera. I'm trying to spend more time using that and making videos. And I, it's hard to fucking do that when you feel like everyone around you just doesn't even fucking like you. I go on Instagram and I got messages from people who, who I'm really good friends with and have been good friends with, but they're not here. That's what I don't like about what I do is that it's all people around everywhere. It's not just people in my area. Like I, like I would go to school and, and I'll like end up sitting alone at lunch because no one's fucking sit with me. You know, I see my good friends that I used to hang out, used to try to hang out with and talk to all the time, then going to hang out with, you know, doing the shit we used to do without me. and. Like it sucks and I think that that's why a lot of upcoming creators and upcoming, you know, just artists and whatnot, just upcoming entertainers in general, I think that's why they fucking drop off so early. And it makes sense to me. Like I see, I'm seeing it more and more every single fucking day. But don't feel bad for me. I love what I do and I'm not gonna stop what I do. Don't, don't take it as that. Don't take it as, you know, everybody around me hates me. Don't feel bad for me. Nothing like that. No, 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 no. I just gotta rant this out because it's it fucking driving me crazy, man. I don't understand it. I don't understand why. I don't understand why so many people around me are just like they just always seem like either against me, like they're judging me or some shit. It's doesn't make sense. Then I go on Instagram where it should be the opposite. Social media should be judging you and social media should be the stress in your life. But instead, it's the fucking people around me. Like I love the people, like my family, uh, and. You know, some of my good friends, like Jokester18, you know, we talk often. But then as for that, there's a lot of other friends around me that, like, they don't even want to fucking talk to me. They don't even want to be associated with me. But they still, like, then, you know, we get by each other and they act like we're best friends. And, you know, and they're, they're like, they'll hit me up and, and they'll be like, hey, can you ask Kid Rock that? Or, hey, can you ask Kid Rock this? It's like, motherfucker, I don't even have contact to Kid Rock. Or fucking, hey, can you shout me out in this video? Or, hey, can you shout me out on your Instagram? No, 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 you don't even fucking talk to me. Can we do a video together? Fuck no. You never talk to me, motherfucker. You think I'm gonna let you in on my career and yet let you still be a fucking burden in my life? Fuck that. It's I'm really fucking seeing why some people stop this. I'm really seeing why people take a break and never fucking come back. All I'm saying is that it's not the fucking people who are following you. The followers are what give you the motivation to keep fucking doing it. But the burden in this life is the people around you who pretend to be your friends. The snakes, that's what they are. They're fucking snakes. The burden in this career path is the snakes that pretend to be your friends when they fucking aren't. And it makes no sense to me. It seriously doesn't. I don't understand it. All I'm saying is that I, there's some people I got to cut out of my life. And there are people that I thought I wouldn't have to cut out of my life. But I guess I got to. It's going to suck. I don't want to do it, you know. But fuck, I don't. I'm not dealing with this bullshit. We're not fucking 12 here. Like, I'm fucking sitting there working. People are blowing up my phone over bullshit. It just doesn't make sense, man. It doesn't make sense. All right, guys, I'm going to hop off here before I just keep screaming. Stay rebel.